I promised you guys to follow up on this amazing F-15 Eagle by E-Flight, and that's what we're gonna do today. I've been having a blast flying it, so I have no problem flying it again for you. Let's put it in the air. Guys, this thing is amazingly easy to fly, fun and agile if you want it to be, and extremely beginner friendly. I wouldn't have said this before flying this jet, but after having my hands on it, I would say it could be easily a person's second plane, or even a first if you have a good flight instructor. With safe select on, you can fly it extremely docile, and it won't even roll over. You can turn that off very easily, and then fly about like we're gonna fly today. I've been having a blast on 4S power, completely brushless system, and it binds right up to an amazing Spectrum transmitter. It was very easy. I'll have the plane, the transmitter, and my recommended battery that fits perfectly in the jet linked in the description box below. Let's fly. Looks like we're clear for takeoff on this beautiful, bright, sunny fall day. We're here in the first couple days of fall, and we're getting a little bit of wind. That's okay though. I've flown this in way more wind than this, and it does really well. Full throttle and a lot of elevator to take off from the grass, but as you can see, it's very capable. Now, Abby here is our camera woman for the day, as always, <laughs> and it's very bright and sunny, so bear with her as she does her best to get some good shots of this beautiful jet. This thing flies perfectly, and like I said, with this battery that I have in here, the CG on it is just amazing. Look how smooth that is with AS3X flight stabilization on board, but I have safe turned off so I can do stuff like this. Just roll, roll, roll. I'll do that closer, which kind of scares me. I always do my rolls over Death Valley. So let's push my limits a little bit for this video, have some fun with you guys, get myself out of my comfort zone with a few rolls. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's awesome, huh? Oh yeah. Wow. Okay, now same goes with loops. Let's do one a little farther out over Death Valley. You'll notice that unlike an old warbird, this needs a little bit more clearance sure. to pull off that loop. I lost you. That's okay. We'll do another one on the next pass. You got me over the tree line there? Oh no. Here we go. Coming in hot. Right over the shed. I know you found me that time. Look at the vertical climb, vertical climb on this thing. Just climbs forever. We're going into the sun, so I'm going to pull back out of that for Abby. Let's see if we can pull off another loop, get it caught on camera. This ought to be good. You ready? Yep. Full throttle. We'll pull back all the way. Now I can adjust that tightness on the push rods. I actually don't have that adjusted all the way on my push rods. I think I might do that to give me just a little bit more authority while I'm in the air, but I love a pass like that. Give it a roll. We'll go right into the curve over Death Valley. Let's not fly in a boring circle. We'll start pulling some figure eights here. Get it looking good going both ways. You go to that, Abby? Yeah. Jet's gonna be a little bit harder to follow than our traditional slow moving airplane, but man, it looks good in the air. I love this F-15. And I think that, that <laughs> the first video we did on this jet, a lot of my good friends and followers of the channel realized how amazing it is and they picked it up. Got tons of messages from you guys saying, hey, that thing is awesome. I hate being your friend because I bought one. <laughs> Dan told me being my friend is very expensive. <laughs> While that may be true, it is fun, isn't it, Dan? So I'm so excited to get together with you guys and fly this. I think we're gonna have at least four or five of these together in the air at our next little meetup. Maybe more. This thing is really amazing. Very docile if you want it to be very scale looking the only thing i wish it had that it doesn't have is retract landing gear and i think that that's what everybody point, said i know it oh it looks so good as a matter of fact i think some people actually take the landing gear off of this and do hand launches and grass landings and that would be very capable of doing that guys this f-15 eagle is probably some of the most fun i've had in the air for a long time and i think that's because 
I, I went over a hurdle that I've been afraid to go over for a long time. Abby, is that my cue to land? Yeah, I don't know if you put a lipo alarm in today or not. I did not. You're so. at three and a half. Okay, well, I'll do one more pass and then we'll land it. It feels really, really good to do something that you didn't think you were able to do. And that's what I did with this jet. This being my first EDF jet, it just felt so good to pass that milestone. And now, because of this, you guys are gonna see another jet on the channel really, really soon the F-16 Falcon. So if you're excited for that, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm very pumped to share that with you. And uh, should be a pretty easy plane to fly, just like this Eagle. There's my one minute little click. Let's see here. Might be a little too, okay, we got this, we got this, we got it. Oh yeah, that was a little fast. I should have bled off a little bit more speed there at the end, but it was good. That was a good three point landing, I'll take it. Well, first of all, if you made it this far in the video, give it a thumbs up for Abby's camera work. She was getting blinded by the reflection on the screen. Kind of a crazy time of the day to film, but I love this plane. I have now flown it, I think I'm up in the double digits. I think that was my 10th flight in less than a week. And for me, and all the stuff we do on the channel, that says a lot. Everybody that has seen it here at the field has fallen in love with it. I've already had offers to buy this off of me. Ain't gonna happen. I'm keeping this one, baby. This is like my new P-51 in a way. I love flying that P-51. I'm gonna put the P-51 and the F-15 Eagle right in the trunk of the car side by side because they both fit without having to take the wing off. That's amazing. And just go to the airfield and fly. It's a head turner. It's awesome. It's smooth. People love it. You should buy one. Treat yourself, guys. It's that time of the year where you've You've worked hard all, all summer long, sweated your butt off. I think it's time to reap the rewards. I give you permission to buy the F-15 Eagle. And please, after you've purchased one and you've flown it a couple times, let me know what you think in the comments of this video or our first flight video. I'm also gonna give you a pro little tip here. I've heard that on some of them, the early ones that were released have a sticker on the motor. And if that spins up really fast and gets really hot, you may notice it comes off and it'll sound like a blade of grass or something is stuck in there. It's the sticker on the motor. Just check yours when you get it, see if there's a big white sticker on it. If there is, try your best to take that off. There's a little panel that comes off on the bottom of the jet. Most likely you'll get it and there's no sticker. Mine doesn't have one. So, and neither does my F-16. Come to the channel very soon. Well, I'm really excited to bring more jets to you guys. This is an amazing part of the hobby that I've been missing out on. Hopefully you try a new part of the hobby too. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.